All right, hello there, YouTube. Tiddly Winks is here, and I'm going to be doing the review of the Aegis Armory Shield. Yes, I got one, and I tried it out. And I have to say, this has got to be by far the most comfortable holster I have ever worn. But this is where we're going to get deep. Anyway, got it from my TCP. I got the. Uh, Nate squared tactical for all the big guns and I really really enjoy that holster as well this shield is going to run you uh, 55 to 58 dollars it says and you can get the kydex and the leather in all different kinds of colors um, these are adjustable these uh, clips here which is absolutely great you can wear them inside outside the waistband flip the clips around do all kinds of cool stuff with it but uh, definitely great retention and all around it's a great holster now this is where we're going to get deep um, I live in Florida and we have tons and tons of salt air now all the reviews I'd seen of this holster previous you know people up north and people you know not too close to salt water now I live in between a salt river and the ocean each is about a quarter mile on either side and uh, this holster definitely is great the clips could be made out of aluminum or maybe a different brand steel you can see all the rust there and that is not during the summer when I'm sweating all the time this was during the winter where I was bundled up and not sweating at all and uh, I definitely think the clips are good but need to be made of a better steel maybe stainless or aluminum as you can see that rust is not good this is where I ran into a lot of problems though the leather is good but it's very porous as you can see there's brass rivets there um, that hold the kydex on but this leather is very porous and you can see the screws that are holding in the actual holster are all rusted too and this has nothing absolutely none of my holsters do this other than this one so I don't know how to explain it but this is where I ran into a lot of problems I have not been able to use this gun at all because of this right here magazine release Got a magazine right here Let's see if I can do all this one-handed without making the picture look too horrible now it'll clip in place you really got to push that magazine release down and it gets stuck once you do so that and then you can't put it back in without flipping the gun over pushing it back down flipping it back over and pushing this in now I don't know if I can take send that back to Taurus and get it fixed otherwise it's just garbage I'm not gonna use it I haven't been carrying it because of that fact right there but I think what it is is the inside this just might be a little too thin and porous because I have never ever ever had that problem I carry every day and have been for years and I've never had that problem with any holster before so I had told Aegis Armory I'd be completely honest about the holster and I am being completely honest it is the most comfortable holster ever if you live up north um, or you don't sweat a lot or you know there's no salt air this is probably just absolutely fine and there are thousands of good reviews on this holster but for me personally living in Florida can't do it I'm gonna have to say that uh, I'm probably not gonna carry with it again but uh, guys definitely check out Aegis Armory Tiddlywinks is signing off rate comment subscribe and I'm out of here